Hello, Gemini. This is your mid-December 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Geminis, so please keep that in mind. But this is for Gemini, mid-December 2018 Gemini. Mid-December 2018. Hope your December is doing well. We're going to see what the incoming energies are going to be. And let's see. Seven of Wands. Getting on top of things. Taking control. Um, sometimes a little defensive, but in a positive way. It's more or less taking what's yours. Having some type of victory. It's valor. In the past, getting this a lot. It doesn't matter how much I shuffle. I shuffle prior to e on each and every reading. With each and every reading. And I meditate. And this is the Seven of Swords. This is something coming out. Sometimes it's about sneaky behavior coming out. Sometimes it's things that you didn't know about suddenly pops out in the past. And we'll lay out four more cards, but I want to clarify that one first. I want a fresh read on every card before I turn them over. But the Seven of Swords in reverse for Gemini. Why are you there? Something comes out, whether something comes out about you or somebody else. Something comes out. Seven of Swords. Why are you there? In reverse for Gemini. It also sometimes means breaking free from something, but it depends what the other cards say. Seven of Swords in reverse. Why are you there for mid December, Gemini? Queen of Cups. Something comes out. And the Queen of Cups is not happy about it. What, like I said, whether you did something or they, they did something, it could go vice versa either way. Queen of Cups can be a water type element or someone just acting that way. It could be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. They're not happy, I guarantee it. And they're letting their emotions show with you right now. Can I have another card for the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Cups in reverse? It has something to do with a happy home. Something come out, and it has something to do, you know, with your home life. That was happy before, but something, like I said, came out. I think that would be the obstacle, but it's not because it's the obstacle card. The obstacle could be the princess of disc. The princess of disc could be an earth element or someone just acting that way, you know, taking that energy. It could be, hmm. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They are in reverse, and that's a good reason to have that as an obstacle, because they're not exactly working with you. Princes of Dis, why are you there for Gemini as the obstacle for mid-December? Hmm, something got, you know, there was some type of behavior that could have been avoided. This person maybe talking sharply to you or you're talking sharply to them. You may have tried to cut them out of your life or they may have tried to cut you out of their life or maybe you're thinking about it or they're thinking about it. But harsh words were said. I could see that right now. Princess of Disc, Page of Swords, in reverse. Why are you there for Gemini? Yeah, you're losing strength over the situation. That's a strength card in reverse. So something comes out. Kind of, you know, you have a happy home, but something may be endangering that of some sort. It has to do with a couple of different people, as you know. Current environment, the Knight of Cups. This is so, it could be a water energy. A lot of times I see this as a water energy or feelings, a type of feeling, and I'll tell you that about more about it in just a second. But the Knight of Cups can be a water sign. We saw that here, that they're in reverse from something coming out. But the current environment, we have it up right here. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or someone just acting like a Scorpio. And if it's actually feelings or an event, it could be that someone offers you something of kindness, generosity, love, friendship. Knight of Cups in the upright is a good card. Let's find out more about it. Knight of Cups, why are you there? 
Why are you there for Gemini from mid-December? Maybe someone's giving you a gift. The Fool card in reverse. It's someone who's thinking about it for sure. They're not going to just jump into it. They're thinking about doing this. Thinking about making you an offer. It's not something, yeah, collaboration. Three of Pentacles. They're thinking about giving you an offer of some sort. Like I said, it could be emotional, physical, material. But they're thinking on it very carefully whether they should do it, not just jump into anything. And they may think you may not accept it if they did with the full card in reverse. They've thought about this. With the Three of Pentacles, they collaborated, they thought about it, they talked to other people. And they also may want to collaborate with you. But they know they thought long and hard on this. They just didn't jump into it. Oops, I want to see what that is. The Magician. There is some manipulation going on. And that may be why they're, they didn't ex they're not extending the offer without thinking about it because they're afraid of manipulation. They're afraid of deceptions. Could have to do with that Seven of Swords in reverse. I'm not going to say that is actually part of the current environment, but I'm putting it there because it fell out. But the Magician has a lot to do with manipulations. So someone does want to make the offer, but there is some static with it. I'm not saying that they're deceptive where they would be in reverse themselves. Anybody can get in reverse for many different reasons. But I'm thinking, like I said, they're going to extend you an offer wanting to, and they're thinking long and hard about it. They want to collaborate with you. They want to work things out, possibly. But there was manipulation somewhere around there. Whether you did it or they did it, I don't know. Or maybe someone third party did it because we do have the Three of Pentacles. Outside environment, again, Cups energy, Prince of Cups. Like I said, it could be someone taking on an energy or actually a water sign. Prince of Cups, outside environment, why are you there for Gemini? Doing a lot of water energy here, Gemini. Prince of Cups, why are you there for Gemini mid-December? Someone is trying to come out of feeling left out with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, possibly. I need another card to know for sure. Why is the Five of Pentacles in reverse? Oops. I'm going to let them come out. The Chariot can mean so many different things. One of the things that they feel like they can't move forward as an outside environment, they feel like things, another thing is a Chariot in reverse is things can be chaotic as it moves forward. But they want to become feeling out, out of, they don't want to be left out anymore. And I don't see them wanting to walk away this outside environment with the Eight of Cups in reverse. Or they may have trouble, give, you know, walking away. They don't want to be left out anymore. They are in the upright here as the outside environment. But things were chaotic before. They're not wanting to move away. They're wanting, not wanting things to be chaotic. They might have been. And they're not wanting to walk away. Whoever this is in your life. And maybe this is the same person. I don't know. It could be a different water energy. I'm reading for the masses here. The general population of Gemini. Sun, moon, and rising. Final outcome. The hermit in reverse. Someone is no longer staying to themselves. Thinking to themselves. They're coming out of hermit mode. Gemini, you've been a hermit. Huh? Why is the hermit in reverse there? Because you're coming out of it. Someone was coming. Someone was a hermit before. Wouldn't be in reverse now. Coming out of it. The hermit in reverse. Why are you there? Why are you there for Gemini? Mid December. Why are you there? Because someone's putting down their swords. No longer blocking. Even though there's still a little unbalance involved. Someone doesn't feel quite secure in the situation. They're going to, you know, break out of this hermit mode. Still feeling a little insecure, a little unbalanced. Feel like not so calm just yet, but you're laying down your swords or somebody else is laying them down with you. Can I get another, one more card for Gemini? And then we'll see the final outcome energy. One more card, the hermit in reverse, two of swords in reverse, and the temperance. In reverse. Nope. You're just wanting to come out of an imbalanced situation. Hermit. 
lose my voice a lot, the hermit in reverse again. You're coming out of it, or like I said, someone is, is a definite. It's, these are major arcanas. You got two of them right here. It's going to be hard not to be, you know, breaking, breaking out of this, you know, quiet situation you were in. You may not be just holding back your words either. Maybe before you kind of just were, you know, in the shadows in some way, waiting. Not anymore. Not in December. Because you're no longer wanting to carry this burden, whatever it was. So Ten of Wands in reverse. You want that in, re in reverse sometimes. You're just not wanting the burden. You're dropping a burden. You're coming out of hermit mode. You're dropping your swords. Things may be still unbalanced, but this may be also why. Because the things were unbalanced and you need to come out. Hermit in reverse again. Major arcanas. It's going to happen. You're breaking out of something. You're, I see possibly you may be breaking free too for some of you. And I'm, I do believe someone may give you an offer. It could be a water sign or just someone who has emotions that are loving and caring. Okay? So that is your reading. I'm going to upload this soon. If the internet doesn't give me troubles again. And I'll talk to you later. Okay, Gemini? Bye.